Oh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Manuel. I'm uh, in charge of information security at AXA Bank, and I will talk to you about the uh, the API project that we uh, that we made this year. Um, so, um, AXA Bank is a uh, is the only uh, retail bank. Uh, in France, open 24 hours, six days a week. We have about 800,000 cli clients, and we mainly uh, direct banking operation. So, as a, as a direct bank, uh, we've always been trying to be uh, innovative uh, about products and also about technology. So, when we uh, saw all the uh, all the API hype. Uh, we decided that it was maybe a good idea to do one for us. And um, we first, we tried to find out what the success factors would be. Uh, the success factors for developers was a free, free access to an SDK, um, needs of programming, and uh, the ability to use uh, uh, data that was otherwise difficult to obtain, especially banking data. And of course, the ability to distribute your application uh, through stores, uh, possibly for a fee. Success factors for users would be uh, richer use of data, the data that they had, the, uh, the banking account data, and uh, increased perceived value of time spent due to additional usage or money invested by the individual. I didn't write this, <laughs> but you probably get the point. Um, and uh, what would be the, the key success factors for uh, the platforms is the development of ecosystem. So what, uh, what kind of apps could we add to, the, to our internet banking website? And uh, promote external innovation and decrease our R&D uh, investments and help retain uh, customers, of course. All right, so banks and the internet. So we launched our first website in 1998. So we were direct bank, pure players, and we uh, we gave access to accounts, transactions, and uh, value value added content only accessible through the web application. Then we moved to the to years 2000, where uh, all the all the other uh, major banking operation uh, turned the, uh, the internet channel into a, a full-fledged uh, channel of their multi-channel strategy. We've seen the first mobile initiatives and uh, of course everything was kind of a walled garden uh, except from, uh, for uh, the, the scattered initiatives from um, uh, aggregators for instance but we felt that they were not into, they did not take into account the, uh, the security constraints of the bank. And the coming year's vision for the API and uh, for the bank and internet. We have to take into account the impact of social media. We do a little bit. We have adopted the major digital players long tail development models. And uh, the bank is becoming more and more an open multi-purpose platform. We're selling all kinds of stuff. And of course, security, because uh, uh, the relationship to our customers is based on trust and we just cannot afford to lose their trust. So security must be at the core of the platform. So our vision, it's a win, win, win model, three wins. <laughs> win for customers, because the wealth of uh, new available apps and, uh, and uh, the, the insurance that the, their, data, their data is protected. It's a win for developers. We offer them legal security. Uh, we offer them access to a wide market of customers. And uh, we've tried to make an international standard. And we offer them the possibility to sell their applications. And for banks, we still control the access to the data. We have accelerated and leveraged R&D, and we have, of course, the extension of our ecosystem. So that was our vision. 
So how did we uh, do it? So in, in three minutes, the API, uh, it's, it's based on an open banking standard. Well, to be quite honest, we, we just wrote this open standard and just gave them to everyone who would want to use it. It's, uh, well, it's using REST, and we, we, we give access to uh, customers, accounts, cards, transactions, balances with history. So the open standard is quite, of a, is, is quite important because we give full access to any other bank who would like to develop an API. They can use our standard, it's public, so, uh, and I guess it will make it easier for uh, the, the developers who develop apps to move from one bank to another. It's, that was the purpose, anyway. Um, and it's fully secured. We use OAuth2. Uh, well, that's all I should say about it, in fact. That was less than three minutes. Oh, yes, how did we do it? So we, we had a, um, a launching strategy that was based around what we call the Grand Prix of the API, banking API. Um, it was 50k euro prize for uh, the best uh, banking hub that would use our API. It was awarded by a jury of professional and experts, banking, insurance, web, uh, the press sector, some uh, entrepreneurs as well. And we did the, the communication was done mostly via the computer, the computer press and, of course, through blogs as well. And who could compete? Uh, it was open to anyone, young developers and small business, uh, with less than 1 million euro turnover and uh, less than three years of existence. The ceremony was uh, held on June 1st at the Axe headquarters, how we did it. It was a five to ten minute speech and then uh, a working prototype of the, uh, of the application using our API. Oh yes, we felt it was very important also to our launching uh, strategy to uh, actually uh, provide a dedicated website um, where of course you could participate to the Grand Prix which is over now but you could create an account, access the sandbox, uh, read the documentation, and basically interact with our internal developers who were developing the API to uh, uh, correct bugs uh, and uh, essentially uh, interact with us. So this, this, this website was very important for this purpose. And the Grand Prix is over, but you can still uh, apply for a new hub. Of course, if you have a, a beard, uh, the, the, the application process will be much easier, but it's not required. So, AXA Bank API for real. Because we eventually opened the store in November. So between June and November, we uh, had some, uh, it, that's the problem with with big companies <laughs> is that it, it's actually still hard to um, get from the prototype to the actual production, mainly because it's not just the, the same persons that are involved, so it's a, it's a lot of change management for them. Uh, 45 participants, 14 projects were reviewed by the jury, six projects competed into the final and we had one from Hungary. Um, the AXA Bank store opened in November. We had two, we have at this time two applications, the winner which is Banking, and uh, the other finalist which is Monedoc. So we have only two applications so far. You can uh, follow us uh, at API AXA Bank where you can have uh, fresh news about what we're doing, what kind of thing we are putting in place and what we are upgrading, what kind of functionalities we, we are going to put in the, in the API. So some screenshots of the applications. If you're not using them, you should. And what are the next steps? <laughs> okay, so we want to use CAMPS, which is, uh, again, free R&D, well, it's not so free for us at least, uh, to promote our API. We, uh, we've been trying, we, the communication we did were, was uh, really 
directed and targeted for the developers community and we want to uh, to uh, to make it bigger to gather other other communities like application designers creative people and of course the developers uh, during our Grand Prix, we had an innovative approach that was taken by a, a, um, a company which is called Equito, which worked in uh, Toulouse. Uh, they actually asked on Facebook what, uh, what the end users would like to see as a, as, a banking app, as a banking application. They used the same people to vote and so to elect what would be the, the application and they committed to uh, develop it. So they developed it uh, to, to participate to the Grand Prix. And that's it. So if you have any questions, thank you.